you want to go? Chinua Bay. I was told to do that route, but I thought today I'd do a route where we never backtrack. Oh, okay. If you want to go down that way, I'm happy. I, I would love to because there's a great coffee stop down there. No, I was beeping and flashing and pointing, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I look every now and then. But yeah, 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 let's head up that way and I'll pull off and get the 360 on. Okay, we're off to Genoa Bay, just a short trip down here, and here we go. Well, the last time I came down here, I was on. My cafe racer, my W650, years and years and years and years ago with a guy called Ruri. So Ruri, if you're watching, long time no see. Gone through several bikes, uh, many, many, many bikes since. Wonder if you still have the W650. Lovely little road. Used to go uh, sailing and racing. I used to race sailboats. And a popular stop was Cow Bay because there's a great race there every year, Cowichan Bay. If you wanted a bit of privacy, then you'd sneak over to Genoa Bay. Watch out for the gravel here. Especially if you're doing well, because they tend to go for your boat and start picking through all the rigging that you're using and the sail type. So if you could hide your boat, that was even better. Still, back to bikes. What a road this is for bikes. It reminds me of an old English B road. Of course, we're on the wrong side of the road here, but the sort of thing that, oh, I don't know, T.E. Lawrence would have uh, ridden on. Been doing a lot of reading on him lately. Fascinating guy, quirky as hell. But uh, one thing we all have in common with him is he loved his motorcycles, didn't he? And so I think I will be doing a video sometime on that. I'm sure Lyle's behind me looking at this great big uh, 360 camera sticking off the side of my bike thinking, whew, not sure I like that idea. And he's right, you do have to be careful. I've had a lot of inquiries, uh, people asking me, how do you mount that thing? What have you been doing with it? And uh, perhaps I'll uh, go through and do that one day, give some of my secrets away. But after a lot of trials and uh, trial and error, I have come up with a system which uh, seems to work really well. Oh, this is the perfect road for a 360, as long as you don't meet oncoming traffic on a single track. Look at this road, it is absolutely beautiful down here. Always a wind through here, that's why it's so good for sailing. I only brought property out here once a long time ago, there's no way to get to it with a road. You might be able to get to it with a quad, but basically you need a boat to get to it. It's waterfront right on Sansom Narrows, look it up. Uh, very lovely property, uh, but of course, if your fridge is uh, fixing, how the hell are you going to do that? <laughs> yeah, not easy. We backed out of that one. We don't actually put any money down on it, but it was my, my fantasy. What a road. Lovely. T.E. Lawrence would have loved this on his Bruff Superior. He called them all George. He had George the first, George the second, George the third, the fourth, the fifth. May have gone up even more than that. Apparently he was always coming off them too. Now, I don't want to give the game away, but some of you might know a little bit about him and the fact that uh, he was very much intertwined with motorcycles, that's all I'm going to say. We will do a video on that sometime over the winter when the riding is uh, slim and the uh, sitting around and reading is full. I do like the good see such a calm bike through here. Wow, well done sir, madam. Whew. Take my hat off to you. Oh, this road has seen better days. A typical English B road, particularly in T.E. Lawrence's time, I would imagine, because some of them weren't even paved back then. There we go, there's Genoa. Lovely views over there. I shall have to slow down. No doubt the uh, road has fallen away in that spot because uh, we're literally perched on the edge of a cliff here over the bay. Speed humps ahead. I won't go there if you don't. Once saw a beautiful old single cylinder Ducati down here. Very valuable bike. I can't remember the exact 
type, information, etc. But it was a lovely bike. I think I'll go in here. I've hijacked this trip for a coffee. Lyle's not a big fan of coffee, but oh well, I had to, it has to happen. You've seen my videos. Once again, thanks for watching everyone. If this is the first time you've watched, please consider subscribing. I do motorcycle reviews, motorcycle related product reviews, off-road and on-road vlogs as well as tours. Even though I'm not the most diligent poster, don't forget to follow me on social media. That's Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And to like, and especially, I'm begging you here folks, subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified whenever I release a video. This is the Blue Marble Rider, out.